No, little baby. No, no playing in the water. No. Put it down like a snapchat. Go over your head like a snapback. Uploaded a pic, double tap that. And your flow so old, granddad. Bruh. It's just banter. Yeah. I'm waiting. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to Ashley No Swiper channel. Yes, I know it's been quite some time since I've been away from you guys, but I decided to come back with a new hair tutorial regimen for Gabby. So since Gabby's been older, it's been a little bit challenging to wash her hair lately. But good news, whatever I've been doing pretty much has been working. Gabby hair has definitely has gotten longer, fuller, and thicker. That's for sure. So right now i'm just gonna rinse her hair off get it nice and wet because you definitely don't want to go in with the product immediately while it's dry so you want to make sure her hair is nice and damp so yes i am still using the main choice kids line this is the fresh lemon the kids conditioner i've been really loving this product it's not heavy very lightweight and i haven't been shampooing gabby's hair much i just pretty much just been washing it with water going in with the kids conditioner and then detangling it with this brush so this is the same brush as you guys can see from my hair tutorial that i detangle my hair with so her curl pattern is pretty much similar to mine it's very loose not that tight so i usually let the conditioner sit about a minute if that really depends on how long she's going to sit still then i rinse it out so i'm <laughs> going to rinse it out now as you can see it's definitely a struggle so I'm not hurting the poor girl. So don't, don't think I'm hurting her. Like she's just running. So come back, Gabby. We're almost done. All done. Every video, I, it never fails. Gabby always get super sleepy and cranky towards the end of the video. So what I like to do next is go in with her Shea Moisture Curly Butter Cream. A curly butter cream so I've been using this since day one if you guys watch some of the older videos which I'm gonna have link just click the eye located in the top right hand corner thank you little helper for showing them off the product so Gabby is gonna pretty much show you guys every single product as well so I'm just gonna moisturize that buttercream into her scalp while her hair is still damp and I'm sorry, guys, if I sound a little bit weird, like my sinuses have really been bothering me. So it's like, yeah, to style Gabby hair, I always go in with a rat tail comb part it right down the center. If I'm going to do two, four, six, however many ponytails, I always like to start with the middle part first. And she's pretty much OK with this part. It's just the thing about it. She was just very cranky and sleepy towards the end of this video. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of her front of her hair or her bangs, pull those out because we're trying to protect the baby edges. Next, we're gonna go in with my all time favorite, the Cantu Styling Cluster. Like if you guys don't have this, it is definitely a must with styling your kids hair especially if they have hair textures similar to gabby's even with the kinkier hair textures i found that this works really well with so i like to put you know a nice little amount of that cluster in and kind of comb it while her hair is still damp so anytime i'm working with gabby hair i always like to work with damp hair anytime you're going in there you know trying to style the kids hair while it's dry you're causing a lot of tension a lot of friction on it and that can potentially cause split ends. And we don't want to have that. So once I have her two ponytails already styled, I'm going to just, you know, twist those little bangs. And this part was definitely something new because she's not used to having her hair in her face. So I wanted to try because I thought it was really cute. So I just added some bow ribs to protect her ends and twisted it you know, as tight as I can, but not too tight because we're still trying to save those edges and that front hairline, whatever you want to call it. I call it edges. You know, you call it hairline, you know, potato, potatoes. So next for her ponytails, I like to kind of comb at the ends to kind of detangle. 
before going in with twists. So I just take two ends of her hair, well, two sides of her hair, and twist at the root or the base of it all the way down to the tips. And after that, I'm going to wrap the actual twist or plait around the, um, you guys know what I'm trying to say. I'm just going to wrap it around right there and add a bow to it. After we add the bow, just going to brush up any loose ends and make sure everything is slick. And that's it, you guys. So thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And you know what to do to be a part of the crew. Swipe to the left and swipe to the right. Comment and subscribe and give us all like, 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 like.